I just want, I'll be your host today. I see we have um, lots of Champion customers, and I see we also have some new folks at Champion. So for those that don't know us, I just want to give a couple of sentences about Champion. And um, really our mantra is that we help companies like yours increase productivity, reduce cost, and mitigate risk. And um, that's been our mantra for, for some time. And what we want to do is we want to emphasize that we want to help you change the economics of your company and the way that your company works, interacts, and adopts technology and solutions. So welcome, everyone. And with that said, one of the values that we bring to Champion, I mean, to our customers, is that we proactively um, really try to um, bring new technology and evaluations of technology to our companies, to our customers. So we're pleased to report that this is one of these webinars. We want to, uh, we, we have gone through the motions of evaluating this new product, um, Spectrum Protect from IBM, and we are very excited about Spectrum, the Spectrum portfolio, and we just want to share some of those, uh, some of that, those benefits as we see them. So a couple of housekeeping items before we start. Your phone lines will be muted, but please, if you've got any questions, please use the chat box here on GoToMeeting, and uh, we'll monitor that. But for the most part, we're going to take uh, the questions at the end of the session. This will be sort of a fast-moving session, and we are lucky to have uh, several panelists that are experts with uh, TSM and Spectrum Protect. And um, I just want to introduce a few. Um, Greg Voss is a solution architect from Champion. Greg, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yeah, I've been with Champion 11 plus years and uh, in function as a solution architect. So I've worked uh, with many companies. Um, you know, not just in Florida. I'm, I'm located in Florida, but uh, uh, you know, all over here in the United States, uh, and uh, just help them. And, and uh, very specific with uh, TSM, uh, which is now known as Specs Protect. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, yeah, thanks for joining, everyone. Yeah, and uh, we also have uh, Sherry's son. She's a storage software expert at IBM. Sherry. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. This is Sherry Sun. I'm IBM technical specialist in storage software. So my expertise are in uh, protect to, to virtualize and then everything around in storage. And then my background also includes solutioning with multiple, you know, different uh, customers, IBM customers, and then IBM partners. Yeah, and uh, we've saved the best for last. Rick is a senior systems engineer at um, at a TSM and user, Southeastern Grocers LLC, and some of you might know them by some of the grocery brands that uh, that are under the under Southeastern Grocers. Rick, thank you so much for joining us, and thanks for sharing your expertise. Sure, Phil. Um, my specialty is pretty much has been for the last 15 years or so, back on, dating back almost to the AdStar days, is the uh, has been in TSM solution design, deployment, and administration, and most recently experimenting with the new version of Spectrum Protect 713. And what I want to say is, uh, we just uh, want to have these panelists. They'll interact throughout the session. They'll they'll share with you to help educate you on the benefits uh, of, uh, of TSM and Spectrum Protect. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy this session. It will be fast paced. We are trying to uh, keep this to a 40 minute session and with questions after that. And with that, we'll, um, we'll start and move forward. Um, so like I referenced, uh, the IBM Spectrum portfolio um, is, um, is something that's very exciting. It's really a different, a major shift in direction from IBM. Previously, they, um, it, they were very hardware focused and 
a proprietary storage company, just like other storage vendors, and um, they're, they've moved to a new approach, one where the storage intelligence and the services are delivered in the software. And this is, and I think one of the things that um, IBM has done and has done a very smart thing is they are leveraging proven software technology that's been running in thousands of, uh, of sites and accounts. And what they've done is they've added new capabilities to that software um, set. And, um, and, and now the storage can be located even within the data center, of course, but also in distributed environments and then even in the cloud. So they are really moving forward in a very fast way of supporting data anywhere. And um, I think that that's something that uh, really differentiates them very from some of the other startup um, um, companies too. Um, Sherry, do you want to uh, highlight any points of the Spectrum portfolio? Yeah, um, as you mentioned, it's really we're trying to extract the brain out of the hardware so that it allows the data to move around without boundaries. So really to help the business to achieve, to maximize the investment. For example, so we have six products in this whole family, right? They're not new software. They're actually, a lot of them are like over 10 years, over 20 years that you know the name, but now that we're giving them new life. For example, spectrum control is really what you, some of you might know is the Tivoli Productivity Center, right? TPC, which now that allows in order to know where the data is best should reside, we give them insight, visual insight, analytics of what data is, where they should really be reside, and how they're performing, right? Spectrum Protect is what we know as typically storage manager, TSM, or the old day ADSM. So it's long history. But we're going to focus today on this product and let you show you how it has a revolution, you know, how it's transformed, right? Uh, An archive is kind of an extension of uh, Data Protect, but now it's like serving a lot of cold archiving purpose for the explosion of the data these days, where to put them with the best econ economic sense. Um, and then virtualize is what we have, uh, so, you know, um, SVC. So it, it, what it does allows people, allows block storage of multiple vendors to be managed, to be virtualized, to converged into a one managed platform so that you can maximize the capacity that you purchased uh, and move them around to based on the data's hot and the code, right? And then accelerate and this is something very exciting. People have been loving XIV, but really the XIV's brain is in software. So what we did is extract that piece to make that as accelerate so that allows the business to not only have them on-prem or have them offer it as a cloud or quick deploy it because the you know, XIV is so easy to use, right? And it's great you know, architecture is just, uh, you know, it ensures the, you know, re uh, resiliency and then productive uh, and performance. And the last but not least is what we used to know as GPFS, which is, has been uh, a greatly adopted in the HPC world. And now with the data explosion, pretty much every business wants some kind of HPC capability. So GPFS on new life and in the file and object market. So our goal is really using all the six products as to build solutions for, you know, for all the new data challenges. Yeah, thank you very much, Sherry. I, I think, and, you know, as she mentioned, the, those of you that know um, Tivoli Storage Manager, that's what we're going to highlight today, and we're going to talk about the Spectrum Protect product, you know, in it um, primarily today. So with that, um, Sherry, why don't you mention some of the differences in licensing as we're trying to show here. We don't want to get too involved, but um, take, a, take us through a couple of the major changes and then, and then we'll have Greg jump in and, and give you some of his observations too. Yeah, sure. 
And one of the biggest challenge when people or oh, uh, business evaluating, you know, backup software is really the the, co the software licensing, how the cost and the, the complexity of you know the product it covers, right? So, in an, you know TSM in the old days. Um, it's an enterprise backup software that offers, you know, the backup and archive, but also, uh, you know, application aware uh, backup. And so now with the new data, we also want quick backup and restore. So we will have, you know, snapshot capability and, and all that. Now, in order to offer all those capabilities to our customer. Now the old PVU license, which is basically based on the course, uh, might not be a good approach anymore because, you know, every company now have all kinds of, you know, backup requirement, data requirements that should cover different types. So we what we did is we offer some now we call the unified uh, recovery. So we have you know, kind of entire suite that includes all of our, you know, product. So if, as you see, we have our basic backup and recovery, and we have, you know, Spectrum Protect for the uh, virtual environment that covers VMware and Hyper-V. And something new is the Spectrum Protect Snapshot, which come from the old Tivoli Flash Copy Manager that you know does the application aware backup, so we can uh, do you know database SAP. Uh, now we also support SAP HANA, right? Uh, and those are application aware snapshots uh, for the complete restore backup, right? We also have Spectrum Protect for Mail that covers Exchange and the Domino and um, and you know and then all that. So we now provides a unified, you know, capacity-based license structure that it's, it's almost like all-you-can-eat, uh, all-you-can-eat kind of offering. So with whatever the capacity you offer, you can use, deploy any piece of in that family, right? Um, for large customer, you get, we would offer, you know, the regular unified uh, capacity license and for smaller or mid-sized customer we offer something called entry level basically is as long as you keep it at under 100 terabyte capacity you can just pick and choose whichever product that you want to deploy we now uh, you know we also have Capacity wise, we have either front end or back end. This is basically, you know, if if you're doing a lot of deduplication on the back end, then the back end makes sense because the capacity is based on what actually is stored on the back end storage, right? So if you deduplicate, it makes sense. However, for customer that you are doing lots of versions of backup, and then the uh, the front end makes sense because I don't care how many copies you're going to back it up, and it really is based on the data, the amount of data that you need to back up. So, in a nutshell, this simple really simplifies. We help you to you know pick and choose. Um, we look at your environment. We help you pick and choose what license structure makes best sense. Yeah, I think that's exactly the key point is, you know, IBM is trying to make it easy, trying to make it um, whatever makes sense for the specific customer. And, you know, I, I know that that's a point that, uh, that we're really happy about. So, Greg, um, any points that you want to try to make? Uh, yeah, uh, just to, you know, reemphasize, you know, IBM is really making a push right now to um, – to help customers move to capacity-based license model. Uh, and the front-end license model, that's uh, the, the newest uh, product that uh, IBM has announced. And um, yeah, yeah, so there should be some cost advantages, especially if you're buying some of the a la carte items uh, with the uh, PVU license model, uh, you know, such as uh, Spectrum Protect for VE, or maybe just uh, you know, uh, the database agent or the mail agent. 
um, all those, uh, you know, again, all those things come bundled in the suite of products when you buy the capacity based license model and there's a conversion. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later on uh, uh, today in this webinar. Yeah, thank you so much, Greg. So um, with that, why don't we, um, you know, I'm sorry I'm having a few technical difficulties here. So, um, you know, with that, let's move on to the, the, the benefits as we see them. And Greg, why don't you introduce, uh, you know, this slide, please. Sure. Um, yeah, the, one of the new things that that uh, the TSM now called Spectre Protect has is called next generation deduplication. Uh, several years back, I think in version six six point one uh, deduplication was announced, and um, you know I don't think it it uh, made a big splash out in the industry. Well, this generation of deduplication is going to make a big splash, and we're going to talk about that right now. Um, there's a um, you know, you know capability to ingest and deduplicate up to a hundred terabytes a day. That that equates to about four terabytes an hour. So you know that is a really huge improvement. And the um, you know of course the deduplication. We're going to talk about that with uh, you know some of the um, uh, the rates that are actually being seen out at customer sites. Now these charts here that are um, you know the purple and the two red ones. The first one is uh, in the purple. That, that talks about how much data one Spectrum Protect server can manage, and that's up to four petabytes. So, um, so that that's been a huge improvement, as you can see from the bar on the left versus the bar on the right. And moving over to the center, uh, the server deduplication um, again uh, compared to the previous uh, deduplication huge improvements uh, for server side and client side and you can mix and match those um, you know in the backup environment um, now these numbers these were not these are not lab numbers these are numbers that uh, IBM benchmark with beta site uh, customers uh, over a couple years in developing uh, this next generation DDO and uh, I'd like to um, you know, bring Rick into this conversation. Rick, as a customer, um, uh, you've been, um, you know, experimenting with this. Uh, you, uh, you know, like you mentioned, you've had uh, TSM in your environment for quite a few years. If you could maybe just explain a little bit about your environment and what you're experimenting with uh, right now with uh, this product, uh, that would be great. Sure, Greg. Yeah, currently in our operation, we uh, and we've been a TSM shop for many years, is that we utilize a very expensive deduplication appliance on the back end of our operation. Uh, it just so happens that I'm looking at the potential for a hardware refresh of this equipment, which is going to be very costly to the company. Um, with the release of Spectrum Protect 713, I started out on an effort to analyze it and see what kind of performance deduplication compression that I could get on providing a solution which would eliminate the costly deduplication appliance so far the results have been phenomenal and you know with that what it's going to enable me to do is eliminate that hardware and utilize a vanilla storage and uh, the ultimate goal there is that I hopefully can implement this strategy across my entire operation. It will save the company a phenomenal amount of money uh, in the associated hardware cost and, and support cost. Additional benefits of it will be that utilizing it in combination with the node replication will provide me a hot DR site. You know, which has historically been a cold solution that required me to first recover my TSM environment before I could perform any uh, system recovery or data recovery task. So at this point, my goal is to go ahead and be able to uh, deploy this solution across my entire environment and um, eliminate my deduplication appliance entirely. Wow, that's really that's really a great story, and and that's a story that I'm excited. Uh, you know to hear about, and would like to help uh, you know other customers, um, you know, upgrade their environment to enjoy the potentials that um, 
new technology can offer. Um, you know, that being said, you know, Rick is, uh, you know, he's done this here, and uh, this is pretty much with on-prem data centers, you know, I guess his production and his, uh, his DR data center. Um, what this, uh, this technology expands itself with is cloud. So you, you know, this is a cloud container storage pool that you can be, um, uh, you know, sending your backups to, and that could be replicated with node replication, like Rick was just mentioning, up into a cloud. That cloud uh, today, in this generation, is the IBM cloud. Um, uh, now that's going to be, you know, the IBM software that is going to be expanded into. Um, all the major brands of cloud and Sherry, um, I think you could, uh, from an IBM perspective, share that roadmap with uh, the folks that are on this webinar today. Yeah, it, we have it, we have exciting roadmaps for this year. Uh, you know, most of our Spectrum primary has this hybrid cloud or cloud built in mind. So for Protect, it, it, the roadmap is for now. It's uh, you can have a you know on-prem server back up to our IBM software or cloud object storage, um, and the, this coming uh, hopefully I think it's the first half we're looking at uh, supporting you know Microsoft Azure you know Amazon and and, and keep in mind you know one big challenge of replicating to the cloud is the WAN right now IBM has uh, has made uh, has made acquisition of uh, Aspera which is a high speed data transfer uh, software company uh, with the integration with the protect now we can using Aspera to replicate the node uh, to know the replication to with the hugely expanded win cap capability, but also we can uh, the new protect we can replicate the protect storage, uh, so that we can have two layers of replication to speed up the site. So you can have a true hybrid cloud solution. Yeah, excellent uh, point. You. Yep. Okay, so. Um, well, Greg, why don't you uh, talk about uh, Spectrum Protect in a virtual environment? Right, and this again, uh, more advancements, uh, you know, with uh, Spectrum Protect and uh, Spectrum Protect for virtual environments, you know, has uh, a lot of new capabilities uh, now as as well, and it can stand against any uh, any any backup application that is you know, specific for virtual environments, uh, supporting both, um, you know, VMware as, as well as the Microsoft products. So, um, the, um, the interface for this, what it does is it uses the API to, uh, to vStorage. So, so just like, um, as what that means is it, it allows a, a backup server uh, that that you define within TSM for VE um, to offload the backups from the from the V uh, vSphere environment. Now that's going to give you uh, capability to do full VM backups, snapshots, uh, you know, at the volume, application, consistency. Uh, you can do restores at the individual file level. Uh, all that from single backup. Uh, go ahead and advance that for me, Phil. And talking about um, you know application support, you know, uh, the, you know SQL Exchange that uh, that you know that's included today, so you can have application consistency um, you know with the with these environments, um, and you can. Um, you, you can just you know you can define parameters so that you don't um, overload any one um, VMware environment and let the uh, backup servers that are defined here um, you know automatically distribute the backups um, evenly across so you don't over overwhelm the um, the vSphere environments and, you know and how that works 
is uh, during the backup, um, the, the API from VMware, it's going to flush the, the buffers on the file system within each VM. And then uh, the snapshot is going to be taken, and that means that that VMDK at that point is frozen. And the redo log is started up, and then the virtual machine gets backed up. And then once that happens, um, that temporary snapshot that was uh, started, you know, you know, that's removed, the redo logs are applied, and then it moves on to the next VM. So, um, you know, it's a pretty, you know, simple way to, um, you know, to manage backups. Um, all that happens behind the covers and, and can be defined uh, with a wizard in setting this up. So, uh, Rick, do you have uh, any plan? Yeah, go ahead, Sherry. Can I chime in a little on that the app database? So the SQL Server that uh, capability, we have a different. We have another feature is we not only can restore the database to up to individual item, but also for the SQL Server, we can have the database running and then mount the backup on just as a file system, and then to do another instant restore while the actual database is still running. So that is a feature that is kind of unique to protect. Right. And um, Rick, do you have any plans to use this in your environment? Or do you use a, uh, a backup application today that maybe you would look at replacing? Yes, Greg. Actually, you know, like many of the attendees, um, I'm in a shop to where we, we have historically treated uh, VMs, virtual machines, as uh, as we do physical machines. We basically install a client and perform file level backups, and then we rely on a on an additional product, which obviously is an additional cost to perform snapshots and replication and so forth as needed for DR. And you know, with the developments in Spectrum Tech 713, I'm actually entertaining and looking to roll out TS our Spectrum Protect VE and replace that product by utilizing the components such as the compression, deduplication, and replication to meet my DR needs. So you know the when I combine the capabilities of the product, it's going to enable me to go ahead and eliminate the cost of this additional product, and ultimately, you know, uh, have Spectrum Protect provide a end-to-end -end solution for all the backup and DR needs. Right, and you know, and as you look at this slide over on the right-hand side, what that is, you know, that's the uh, the Spectrum Protect uh, backup server. And the uh, you know the deduplication uh, storage appliance over there. So um, what what this means is that the uh, this virtual environment backup is totally integrated with 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 Spectrum Protect and its and its storage pools. So that means that all the deduplication and everything else that uh, that the Spectrum Protect server is is handling. Um, you know that that could be uh, you know utilized with the um, Spectre Protect for VE along with the node replication. So that gives you a uh, a consistent disaster recovery capability for all your virtual environment, uh, just as your physical environment uh, that we were speaking about a few moments ago. And actually, if I may add too, is that when I mentioned earlier and our talk about the deduplication appliance that I had on my back end is that one of the excuses that we were always using to continue to support it and uh, use it was that it's replication factor and you know with the new node replication component deduplication and stuff it's enabling me to move away from that and entertain the option of getting rid of these other products and keeping on everything under one umbrella being spectrum protect yeah, thanks Rick yeah mm -hmm. excellent point okay so um, let's let's talk about the uh, operations um, console here a little bit and uh, and let's make sure that uh, we stress how fresh and modern this approach is. Right. And actually, uh, this 
uh, you know, this this is a self-service portal. This is a new thing that's been added into the Spectrum Protect for virtual environments. What this means is is that the end user, if he has rights to uh, you know restore a file, uh, you know, then he has rights to um, to use this um, this portal. And it's outside of TSM, as you can, uh, you know, see this, uh, you know, here on this slide. You don't have to know TSM. You don't have to know uh, Spectre Protect for VE. Uh, just through a a web interface, you can drop and drag individual files that you need to restore on your own. So, you know, so no longer does the end user have to call and make a help desk request or call the the uh, the administrator of Spectrum Protect, he can do these things on his own. So that helps a lot of organizations that uh, you know don't have a big staff and um, and don't have that big help desk um, uh, you know staff as well. So uh, something new that uh, just got announced in 713 is the self-service portal. Yeah, um, and then once you move into the ease of use of uh, the operations um, console, and with that, I'll I'll move as you uh, as you go through some yeah, of these points. Okay. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. Yeah. So what uh, you know in the past, um, you know TSM. It was not that, uh, you know, it needed someone with a lot of special skills and, and it was a lot of command line work. And, and that's still there. And, uh, you know, you know, when I used to administer the product, that's what I loved. And I believe that's the way Rick likes, likes to manage the product. But what, that being said, maybe you want some junior administrators or even someone who's new to Spectrum Protect today. You no longer have to... Um, you know, go and learn all those command lines in order to to manage the product. Now, through uh, wizards and and a, um, a GUI interface, you can manage the product. Not only get reporting, you can actually uh, you know define your policy, define your storage pool, you know, create new backup clients out there, and uh, uh, you know, build your whole uh, backup environment you know, from the GUI interface. So like Sherry was talking about uh, earlier, uh, you know, IBM wanted to make the licensing, you know, a lot easier. Well, they're also making the product easy to use too. So this is a, a huge advancement, um, something that we've been waiting yeah. for for a long time. Yeah, Sherry, yeah, a take lot it of from time. there. I know you've got some other things to say about <laughs> the uh, operations center. Yeah, uh, a lot of time we hear TSM admins say, "I really don't know how much data we're actually protecting." So you know, it's a challenge when we uh, when we move from PVU-based license to a capacity license. How do how much should I you know license? That's a challenge. And then it's really we used to have to pro provide a script to run on the environment to do analysis. And then say, oh, you probably need this much. Now, with this operation center, you can just click on one of the button on the right top corner, and it then pulls down and tells you exactly right now how much your capacity you're using, how much TSM is protecting this environment. So it makes things a lot easier for your licensing capacity or planning. And another thing I want to also point out is. Um, uh, probably maybe to do a node replication is a it's kind of a complex uh, process or you know hard to implement you can easily use this op center to establish two TSM server and then create the you know relationship and then start the replication in just a couple of clicks so that's pretty powerful. It really is overall. And, uh, and a lot of this is wizard driven as well. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is the beginning, at, and uh, there's more advancements on the roadmap. So. Yeah, absolutely. As uh, you know, I, I 
from an outside perspective, I, I know that um, as we talk to customers, they really do like the operations center. They know that, uh, again, you know, just as you highlighted, Greg, is you know, folks that are new to the solution really um, are, are, there's very little training involved. Matter of fact, I know there's some YouTubes out there that uh, people can view and get very, very comfortable in a very fast period of time. So, um, and uh, Sherry also noted to me earlier that, uh, that this is a work in process, so um, uh, this is something that, that you'll see new and, and additional enhancements as, as IBM continues to, to enhance the product set, no doubt about that. Okay, go ahead. Right, it you, makes uh, the uh, product a lot more valuable to the organization because, you know, you don't need like, uh, you know, several, you know, senior administrators. I mean, I think Rick can speak to that, you know, you know, you know now with, with, with this advancement of uh, wizard-based um, administration, you know, he could have, uh, you know, uh, you know, somebody help him out for some of the uh, daily tasks, things like that, and help train him up to be a senior administrator. You agree with that, Rick? Yeah, and that's, you know, and I got to say that the operations center probably, you know, is something that doesn't get enough recognition, at least the new release of it, you know, and what it enables us to do is, like you mentioned, is that, you know, you, do, you don't have to have somebody, you don't have to expend the money and, uh, have somebody who's a senior administrator uh, go ahead and manage day-to-day -day operations of the system. It enabled me to where I basically took somebody who was very green and sat them down and within a very short amount of time they were able to take, up, take over all the day-to-day -day operations right through that interface. I mean it's, it was you know not only saved money for us but you know it helped me out tremendously because people can become real intimidated when you set them down in front of those command lines. Right, but it, and, uh, I will add. I will add too that the good. Another good thing about it is, is that it's it's a light product. I mean, I've got it installed on a low end VM. Uh, you know, it's fast, it's quick, and you can manage all this all your servers from that one central interface. Where historically, in the older versions of TSM, you had to go to a separate interface for each individual server. Yeah, I wish I would have had this years ago when I was uh, down yeah. in the trenches like you are. So I can, uh, you know, I can definitely understand what you're saying. Thank you, Rick. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Um, as I uh, talked about earlier on, you know, with the license, they, you know, uh, there's the new front end license model it's based on the on the capacity basically that's just uh, what a one-time full backup would constitute uh, that's uh, you know that that would be what the capacity uh, amount that would be based you know based on the licensing IBM has just reduced the price on this product by 19 percent and they're saying that's going to be a permanent reduction, so that would uh, reflect on the you know subscription renewals, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, IBM has really got to push. They're making it uh, you know a cost incentive to to move to this product, and, you know. And again, you can use all of the products that are included in the suite un with unlimited use. Uh, you know, once you own this capacity-based license model. So if you want to use additional uh, database agents, go ahead. You just pull them down, you know, out of your portal and start deploying them. TSM for VE, uh, you can use that as much as you want. The snapshot product, you know, all these products, you can use them as much as you want once you own that. And um, what, um, you know, we're here to, uh, you know, talk about here on this slide, you know, Champion, uh, we would like to, you know, work with you, uh, do an analysis. If you're on the PVU license model today, let us do an analysis and find out, does it make sense? Is there a cost incentive to move to that capacity-based license model? And, uh, you know, we'll help you get there. Uh, we can provide services. Um, you know, if you do not want to do the uh, upgrade of TSM, 
in your environment today or a fresh install. You know, we, we have uh, experts that have been doing that for the last 15 years here at, at Champion. So, um, so that's, um, I think that pretty much summarizes up. Um, yeah, thanks, Greg. I sure appreciate that. So for you, uh, w w as promised, we wanted to try to keep this to about 40 minutes or so. Um, if you are an existing customer, obviously you can reach out to your uh, champion client manager. He will definitely get in touch with the appropriate people. It will be Greg and myself. Um, if you uh, are new to Champion or if you're an existing customer, if you want to reach out to uh, Tom Cully, sometimes myself and Greg and several of the others that are you know, specialists with, uh, with Spectrum Protect, we, uh, we're out quite a bit working with customers. So um, I've positioned Tom as a way for you to, uh, to reach somebody um, virtually um, during vis business hours all the time. His uh, email address and, and telephone number are listed here. Uh, we will be providing uh, you know copies of this uh, this slide set to everyone, so uh, you can uh, if you if you can't jot down the uh, the email address or telephone number, then uh, just uh, be aware that we can uh, send this out to you, and you can get it you know from that perspective. As Greg mentioned, uh, we do have a very accomplished professional services organization. We can, uh, we've got ways and tools that we can streamline your update to this new version. Um, as uh, hopefully you, you saw today, there's some very, there's uh, great um, things that are uh, capabilities and benefits that are built on a very, very solid foundation of uh, Tivoli Storage Manager. Spectrum Protect does open up to other aspects of the software-defined storage space. And um, and so we hope that we can uh, can help you get there in case you have any questions. As with does Champion with all of our customers, we'll be glad to answer any type of questions that you have. Um, sometimes the uh, the licensing from IBM gets a, a little complex at times. Um, we do see that there are in many many cases big advantages for the licensing, so allow us to review your licensing if uh, if you want that's uh, that's totally on our nickel and we can get a get some, make some recommendations right back to you very very quickly so I hope that you'll uh, take us up on that and with that uh, we'll open up um, and uh, and answer any questions that might have come through on the chat session so if you've got any questions please uh, please write them down in the chat session and um, Kevin if you don't mind uh, were you able to get any questions from anyone as of right now, Phil, there are no questions in the chat window. I will keep an eye on it here. Um, please just enter your questions and hit enter, and we'll be more than happy to answer those questions. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk a few more minutes here. Um, Rick, I know you've got lots and lots of experience. Let let me uh, let me put you on the spot just a little bit, and you know, if you were to sum up a few things that you're just really enamored with with uh, this new Spectrum Protect, uh, maybe you can summarize that for us. Well, you know, one of the things that I went after originally when the announcement for the release of the new Spectrum Protect was, is does it meet the claims that are being made? You know, um, it's you know, we've all seen to where sometimes companies will make claims about their products and they may not may not exactly come to fruition from your experience and I just got to say that you know as I set out testing this product and looking at it whether it be the deduplication the replication the scalability of the product is that everything I'm seeing is true to exactly what the claims are you know on the new release um, you know, the operation center is, while it's maturing every time they release a new release of it, is it meets all my requirements for operations now. I no longer have to sit down and spend weeks or months training somebody at a command line in order to assist me in my day-to-day -day responsibilities. You know, and additionally, like I alluded to earlier, is that hopefully it's going to help me lower the overall cost of owning our backup solution by eliminating my expensive hardware, my additional products and stuff. And these things ultimately always make us look good in front of management. 
you know, anytime we can save them some money, it's you know always a good point. You know, a shining light on you on yourself and your operation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great point, okay. Rick. Yeah, fantastic. Sherry, any last points you want to try to make? Yeah, I just want to also comment on Rick saying the product gets so much improvement. It will also make an effort to deliver new features every quarter. And the way we do it is adopting agile uh, development. So we take input from people like you, from customer, what features they're looking for, and we we prioritize and push out every quarter. And another point I want to point out is most of the cloud, a large part of cloud adoption is in the data backup area. IBM just purchased, uh, purchased another company called Clevosafe. This is going to be a per another example of having uh, object storage being another option for putting behind protect so that you can move between cloud and on-prem. Yeah, and so keep Sherry's an eye on that. To, yeah, Sherry's alluding to we we stay very close to the roadmap as you might see, and um, as champion customers, we can you take us up on the opportunity of letting us know what your thoughts are about uh, future plans, and we'll help de um, devise a, a a roadmap for you to get to uh, from where you are today to where you need to be uh, down the line. So um, with that, Greg, um, why don't you uh, take the opportunity to make any final comments, and then we'll wrap up if there's not any more questions. Yeah, thank you very much, for everyone. Um, sure appreciate it. Any, any comments or questions, please, again, to contact uh, your client manager or Tom Cully, and uh, we'll be glad to get right back with you. Okay, thanks again. Appreciate everyone's time.